Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I am Moltrap. Welcome to Game 3. Coming out here with Game 3 of Zero vs. Flash from the MSL Finals. The ABC Mart MSL. <clears throat> ABC Mart is like a supermarket there in Korea. I believe. I actually never went to an ABC Mart when I was there, but that's what I heard. Anyway, ABC Mart MSL Finals. Zero has gotten himself all the way to the finals here. I've been hoping for this. I've been so uh, disappointed, not not in Zero, but disappointed for Zero, that over the last, um, you know, couple of year or two, he's been doing really, really well. He's really, really been on top of his game. He's been one of the top Zergs in StarCraft for a while now. He just hasn't been able to clinch that spot at the top. He's gotten to the round of 16, he's gotten to the round of 8, he's gotten to the round of 4, but he's never gotten a title, he's never really come uh, close to grasping a gold. Um, but here he is, finally, finally in the finals. He's at least assured a silver medal, silver medal and uh, right now he is definitely looking like he's going to be getting a silver, because he is down two games. So this guy right here... Young Ho Flash, the uh, Terran Titan. Guy has like 10 titles under his belt right now. Various uh, golds and silvers from OSLs, MSLs, and actually he's got some titles from the Avertech Intel Classics, the old GOM TV uh, Brood War tournaments that they had. This guy's obviously a Brawlster fan, KT fan, and there's a. Uh, more white guys in the crowd, they always get on camera. Always get Not always, not necessarily, actually. I, I, went, to, I went to the uh, MSL studio a few times, and one time I didn't get on camera. Uh, or they didn't show, they only showed me because they had a sign or something like that. Anyway, there's Zero on the big banner above the stands. I wonder how long it's going to be until the game starts. Sometimes these games start way after the videos do. So I may pause and actually go ahead and see if the game's going to start soon or not. It's one of the luxuries of doing the games after the fact. So you can just go ahead and jump right into it. Mensal Zero fan there. Oh man, that's really cool. I want a banner like that. That'd be sweet. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and... Well, let's see. This might be an intro, actually. I think we're going to get started. Alright, Zero versus Flash. Everything on the line for both players right now. If Zero loses the next game... He is going to be out of the MSL. He's going to be getting a silver medal, of course, still. But um, he will be going home in defeat. Flash, of course, if he wins, he's going to take the gold once again. His fourth MSL on the line here. We're going to find out here pretty soon. Um, let's see how close this is to the game starting. All right, the game is actually very close to starting. Here we are, we're getting underway, the fireworks are going off, the Korean commentators are yelling their mouths off, yelling their throats out, trying to hype everything up. There's the crowd going absolutely crazy as the game is getting close to starting, people waving banners. MSL finals are always so epic. Game three here, like I said, everything on the line, on the line for both of these players. It is going to be awesome. Going through the intro once again. Special intro made just for them. Just for these two players. Actually, what I remember when I, uh, when I was in the uh, crowd cheering on Zero, I had written Zero on my cheer pool. And uh, this Korean guy that was sitting next to me like told me how to say his Korean name so I could cheer him on his Korean name. And it was, it was kind of an awkward guy, though, I remember. It's kind of funny. Like, I, I had a Fanta, which is a, which is a soda. Um, and uh, I didn't drink all of it, and when I was leaving, I left it, like, under my chair. And he says, oh, you're Fanta. You know, he didn't speak that much English or anything. He says, you're Fanta. And I said, oh, that's all right. And he says, you finish? I said, yeah, I'm done with it. And he said, oh, I, I drink? And I was like, yeah, man, you can, you can have the other half of my Fanta if you want. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, um, Flash squishing some Picari sweat around in his mouth in a fashion similar to the swishing of the blood of his enemies in his mouth after he um, 
bites their arms and legs off. Metaphorically speaking, of course, this map a little bit more balanced TVZ 36 to 38. This is, of course, the map Circuit Breaker. I say, of course, not out of familiarity with the map, but because it says that at the top of the video that I'm watching on YouTube here that I'm casting off of. Um, <clears throat> Anyway, so Flash is tearing in the bottom right-hand corner, of course. Looks like he's red or brown. And Zero is going to be the blue Zerg player in the top left-hand corner. Zero down. Oh, two. Oh, my gosh. I'm so nervous for Zero right now. I really, really, really want him to do well here. I really, really wanted him to win or at least put up a good fight. If he goes down 3-0, then, you know, he won't really be laying much of a claim to the top level of StarCraft. I mean, he's getting a silver medal, but I mean, the thing is, is so many players, have, there's been so many, like, one-hit wonders. I wouldn't even, it, it, I'm, you know, Zero is not a one-hit wonder. He's obviously not, because he's gotten so far in Star Leagues before. He's not like, you know, Mind, who comes out of nowhere, wins an MSL, and then sucks for a while um, or for GG who kind of like came out of nowhere and won an MSL and then got pretty bad pretty quickly and then ended up uh, retiring I believe because he was uh, not really doing much anyway um, so yeah Zero has, has gotten far enough in enough tournaments that I, I wouldn't call him one hit wonder here getting a, at least a silver uh, in this Star League but, you know, if he could really, if he could take a game or two off Flash, at least, even if he loses, that would be um, something to say. Like, I got to the finals, and I took a couple games off the best StarCraft player in the world. Um, I know there's some debate as to whether that's Flash or Jadong, but it's definitely one of the two of those guys. Um, anyway, I just noticed there's like a little frowny face made by the dark spots on this map kind of you see zero's overlord going right over the frowny face's cheek right now it's kind of weird anyway flash going for a very very fast command center and zero is not going to be able to scout this in time to respond in kind he's already got his third hatchery up though so that's fine actually um, his spawning pool is already up um, Anyway, point being, it, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. It's, it's all kinds of evens, all kind of evens out. I'm saying he can't really put on too much pressure, but he couldn't really anyway, because it is very, very far across the map. Um, it wasn't a command center first, by the way. It was just a command center after. His, uh, racks and everything. Um, so anyway, it does look like we're probably going to see a macro game, though. This gives cross positions. So that is going to be favorable for Zero. Um, the Zerg player always wants more space, more time to delay the turn's push. If they're Once they start moving across the map, the Zerg wants to get as much stuff as possible. They want to try and delay... <coughs> Excuse me, they want to try and delay that push, you know, if it's a siege tank push, force them to siege and unsiege over and over again, and, you know, if it's a medic marine push, you know, it gives you more time to put up sunken colonies if you need them, stuff like that. So, the cross positions, the longer distance is going to be really good for zero. Flash going for a very fast factory here, very interesting, he could be doing a number of things with this, of course, he could be... Uh, sorry for the little bit of lag there. <clears throat> he could be rushing up to... Is that Jadon? I didn't recognize him. Sorry. Been, like I said, been out of the loop a little bit too long here. Um, anyway... Uh, what was I saying before? I'm sorry, I just totally threw myself off. There's the coach again. Um, not looking too excited about the games. Uh, yes. What was I? Oh, yeah, yes. Factory. Fast factory. So he could be doing a number of things. He could be going for... Um, well, we'll probably find out soon. What is that? That's a store port. Yes. So... Still could be a number of things. He could be just going... Okay, there's... The, oh, there's the armory. The armory's going up as well as the starport. We're probably going to see Valkyries again. And this is going to be really bad for Zero, who is going for 3-hatch Muta again. Persisting with 3-hatch Muta build. Flash is going to try and get Valkyries out is what I believe. And just he's just going to try and dominate the air, basically. There's the control tower going up, so this is almost certainly going to be Valkyries. 
Wow, so this is going to be... Zero's going to have to play this a lot better than he did the first game. The first game he got really caught off guard, took a ton of damage from his Mutalisks, tried to, uh, on his Mutalisks, tried to fight the Valkyrie's heads up with clumped Mutalisks, and of course took too much damage for that to work. You need to wait for the Scourge. You need to have the Scourge at least chasing those Valkyries. Um... <clears throat> you know, and if possible, you want to run the Scourge in and, and actually pop the Valkyries, kill them off quickly, uh, so they can't do much damage to Mutalisk, and Mutalisk can, can keep going, and that is a really, two Scourge is a really, really cheap uh, way to kill a Valkyrie. Valkyries are expensive units, so if you can kill them off with Scourge, it's really, really good. You get way ahead doing that kind of thing. Flash has invested a lot of money into this. He's going to not have siege tanks because he's going for these Valkyries. Um, so, yeah, so if you can kill those Scourge off, it'll be good. Of course, there are turrets going up, so it's going to be a game of cat and mouse and... and I guess cat and mouse and dog and I don't know what's on the it's gonna be a rock paper scissors I guess it's gonna be a secular cyclical um, system of of attacking and counterattacking with the scourge chase the Valkyries the Valkyries go back to the turrets the mules come in to try and go the, for the turrets the Valkyries attack the mules and try and fall back to the turrets etc so it's gonna be a lot of micro back and forth to, trying to control multiple groups of units at once there are two Valkyries out already at looks like and a lot of mech marines here come the mulas in the mulas take us good volley from those two valkyries lots of damage being done and flash is moving across the map with a lot of marines as well it looks as if he's um i'm not sure i think he might have stimmed some of those they have to click on him for me to be certain but hydro's done is already up queen's nest as well uh zero is attacking very quickly trying to get some units out, trying to get some lurkers out, but Flash is pushing across the map with a very significant force. Those Valkyries able to protect those Marines from the Mutalus harassing. He can just kind of, the Valkyries actually have a pretty decent range, and it's not like a very large range, but it's good because um, once the shot goes off, it chases the flying unit, so if the Mutalus get within range at all, they're going to be able to do it. Flash going in here to this bottom left base, trying to kill off the third base. Brand new third of Ziri. He's only got a single Sunken Colony left. He's going with a lot of forces. He's got Scourge and Zerglings and Mulisks. If he can do this just perfectly and pick off the Valkyries with the Scourge, the Zerglings and Mutas can easily pick off those Medic Marines. But it doesn't look like he's going to be able to do it. He's going in. There's a single Sunken Colony. Goes down here. He comes in. Charging in. Scourge coming from the side. So they're not hit by the Splash. All the Valkyries go down. The Zerglings and Mulisks. Do clean up all of the medic marines. There's more marines coming in from behind, though. He could still affect a lot of damage on this base if Zero doesn't get some reinforcements in here pretty quickly. He has one sunken colony. He's going to lose that uh, extractor, but I think that's okay. He actually doesn't have a ton of mules left. And oh, no, another Valkyrie comes in. No, is that too bad? It's just another Valkyrie. He's just going to force to fight it with a few mules. He needs to split them up so he doesn't take Splash. He does take out the Valkyrie. But it might be too late. The Mutalisks are very badly damaged. They're not going to stand up in a straight-up fight against these Mutalisks. He's got a lot of Zerglings, though. Looks like he's going to run out and try and pick off reinforcements. And just depend on the Sunken Colony. Oh, no. Sunken Colony's going to go down too quick. And Zero's forces were off on the other side. Mutalisks get there too late and are not able to engage. And Zero looks like he's going to lose this base. A lot of drones were spawned there as well. He thought he had saved the base. No. Uh, actually, they may not have been spawned there. Those may have been just the drones from before. Uh, I apologize for that. But anyway, Mula's coming in here. Picking off a couple Marines, but he's lost the third base. Zero is way behind here. There was a beautiful play by Zero running in with the Scourge from the side. So they didn't get hit by the splash damage while the Valkyries were attacking the Mutalisk. Beautiful, beautiful play. But it was not enough. That last round of Marines coming in was able to clinch the defense of that position. Of course, that extra uh, Valkyrie coming in as well helped out distracting those Mutalisks so they couldn't micro. And this is not a good time to be telling me my disc is almost full. Oh no, Marines uh, trying to e exit there are getting picked off, but... It may be too late. The, that army's already done its damage. I'm going to pause for a second here.